is going on YouTube it's your boy here once more and I'm at the Red Clay Historic State Park and uh, you know I know I've been here many times and uh, you know I just uh, decided to come out here because I was in the location you know uh, in the area so um, yeah uh, I've already parked my Jeep way in the back there and I'm in the back portion of you know the park or whatever and uh, you know it's a uh, it's a nice day guys and um, kind of recuperating from the hike yesterday you know uh, yeah I've been doing a lot of hikes lately guys and uh, you know <laughs> I'm trying to find balance guys I'm trying to find balance and uh, this is the area I'm in today you know this is more like a, a nature walk because they they've got the uh, you know a little paved uh, walkway but there's areas of, you know, little trails and stuff. We're just, we've been on, you know, around this area many times. And I've done a couple videos up here at Red Clay. But, uh, you know, I just wanted to get out and, you know, hit the woods like I always do. You know, and uh, it's just a beautiful laid back Sunday, guys. You know, pretty good day. And uh, I don't know what it is. I'm not a homebody or something. I as I'm getting older, I want to get out in the woods more. I don't know. Maybe I am becoming a mountain man or something, or a woodsman or something. <laughs> Watch out, guys. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I just love it out here in the environment, you know. And I try to take care of it as much as I can, you know. And uh, get out in the woods and uh, visit these places like this. You know, enjoy it while, while it's still around, you know. It's good. It's a good time, guys. And it's a stress reliever, too. So, I mean, that's what you got to do sometimes. Um, I don't know. There'll, there'll probably be people around here, but uh, it's okay, guys. They were pretty good yesterday. And uh, I'm just uh, taking it easy today. No uh, strenuous hikes or anything like that. Because I think I did my share yesterday. Yesterday... It was a good day, but I got a lot done, you know. I did make it to uh, where I was supposed to be, and, uh, you know, and I had dinner and everything, and I got that hike done. That was good, and so yesterday was a full day, and uh, today I'm just resting and recuperating, you know, so no strenuous hikes or rock climbing or anything like that today. It's just... Chilling out, guys. You know, just chilling out today. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing great, guys, though. Um, yeah. But like I said, I'm just getting out by myself today and uh, just enjoying the day. You know, it's a pretty day. You know, you got to enjoy it while you can, guys. You know. <clears throat> I mean, everyone's out probably out shopping or something like that on today, but... I enjoy getting to these places like this, you know. I was thinking about going out to the mountains today, but, you know, I think I did my share last week. And balance, guys. i got to find balance, you know. Because, uh, you know, I do work for a living, and uh, I need that extra energy to get through the week sometimes, you know. Uh, but it's a beautiful day, nonetheless. And... Uh, I'm just hitting the trails and seeing what there is to see, you know, and there's like an assembly area, you know, back in the back there, but we're not taking that because it's basically just wood bleachers, really, because I've been here before, so I know everything, well, mostly everything, but don't tell everybody that, I, I kind of put on the show that I know everything, you know, and it's my day, right, Father's Day, I, I snuck off, yeah, but, They'll notice me when I when I come back. They'll give me an earful probably. But anyways, <clears throat> yeah. I've just made it to the back, you know, the, the trail in the back. And like I said, we've been back here before. And uh, it's no new thing to you guys. But there's a trail that leads that way. And a trail that leads that way. And I believe it's just a wraparound trail. But I could be wrong. And... You've seen this sign before, I know, the Council of the Trees Trail. 
and hiking and walking and distance time. All right. And it says 1.7 miles and it takes about an hour, you know. So we're going to head on to it. And I'm going to take my glasses off so I can actually see. <laughs> no. But this is, you know, the mask kind of fogs it up a little bit. <clears throat> but that's okay. That's that's what I do. I wear this thing everywhere. Okay. So we've got the trail markers. And if you can see, it's a nice one. It says Red Clay State Park on it. And it's a trail, you know. So it's a designated trail. And, of course, you knew that because we've been out here before. And I've, I pretty much showed you guys, you know, this trail before. But, uh, you know, uh, things change over time. And, you know, it looks different every day. So... I might have missed a rock or a pine cone, but this time, this time is really slow today. We're just taking it easy, and I'm just going to record what I record, and, you know, I'm not going to get in a hurry today, because I'm just not. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was pretty rushed up at uh, the Signal Point Military uh, Park up there at, uh, at Signal Mountain. I mean... It's a good trek, guys. And I, you know, I admit, you know, those trail runners up there, they're tough, man. Uh, viewers. Um, because I know I couldn't run the trails like they do. And it was rain, it was starting to rain. That's why I had to cut it short. You know, uh, when it started thundering and lightning and stuff and it started raining, I had to skedaddle and get home, guys. Because, you know, I had two hour, an hour, two hour drive. So, you know. I had to cut that one short, but, you know, I enjoyed it nonetheless, you know, and, uh, okay, and, right, these, uh, the trail is still marked, but it's also marked in red paint, so you guys know it alternates sometimes, but it's all right, um, yeah, but, uh, the Signal Mountain, or Signal Point, rather, hike was a really good one, and, uh, I enjoyed it. There's a dead tree for the video, guys. I always put them in. You know, it's my game. Find the dead tree and, you know. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. I've, I've been lucky and fortunate. Uh, fortunate more than lucky. That uh, I've gotten, you know, good locations to do my videos. And they've all turned out pretty good to my satisfaction. You know, hopefully I'm, you guys like them too. And I do my best, really. I, I really do. And I try. I really try. You know, because it's something I enjoy. You know, I enjoy... I enjoy YouTube, even though it's a hobby. I say that. I've said that. But, uh... I enjoy nature and everything, guys. You know? I know... Stress gets to you sometimes. But, uh... You gotta let it go, guys. You gotta let it go. So, um, stress gets to you sometimes, but uh, you gotta find an outlet or something. You know, something you're good at or not good at even, and uh, go with it, guys. You know, make that your like uh, haven for peace, because everyone needs that. You know, it gets stressful sometimes. I'm not joking. And, uh, sometimes it's hard to continue on my journey on this channel, you know, um, there's lots of responsibilities and, uh, other things that take up my time and people that need my time that I have to balance everything. And that's why I say in balancing, I really got to do better. <laughs> I really do. Um. But I'm trying, guys. I'm trying my best, okay? And look up there. I don't know if you can see the canopy. It's pretty nice. I always show you that. I show you everything. That way you get a feel of where I'm at and the location and everything. And I'm going to pan out a little bit. And that's the trail ahead of us. And over here is the trail we just came from. So it's pretty even, okay, guys? It's like pea, pea gravel or little small pellets or pub, pebbles or whatever, you know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so. 
I just do my best and I, I digress all the time, you know, I and I bounce around but it's stuff I you know that catches my eye and I just uh you know have to focus in on it. I I mean it's something I do guys. And you know on YouTube it gives me something, it gives me an outlet for my stress and to be creative at the same time, you know. And I enjoy it immensely, guys. There's there's nothing like it. And before I started, you know, I thought, man, no one's going to watch you. And I'm like, well, what does it matter if anyone watches me or not, you know? If I enjoy it, that's, that's the point, you know? And if I'm leaving something for my kids, you know, that they'll, they can go back on. Because, you know, once I make these videos, they're out there. And it's like a, a photo book or a capture of time, you know, you, I would never have made and I, I never would have gone to these places if I didn't have this channel, you know, because I would be just, I would be just sitting at the house, you know, soaking up the TV or something, <clears throat> even though watching television isn't bad because YouTube's on television, guys, so <clears throat> I'm not knocking at all, but moderation, you know, moderation. But, uh, you know, it's given me great a great outlet. And uh, I get, I try to get creative all the time, you know, and it challenges me a lot of times. And it makes me go out of my box. I know I've said it many times in many videos, and you probably got, you guys are probably crazy over what I, I always... Uh, reiterate myself all the time and repeat myself but uh i just do my best and that's all anyone can ask for is to do your best guys you know uh, like i said i'm not i'm not i'm not a professional and i've even though we've got quite a few hikes i mean like i said before i've got a bucket of rocks at the house you know one for each hike and uh but that doesn't matter in the in the grand scheme of things, you know. The grand scheme of things is, were you present in the moment? And did you take advantage of all the, you know, opportunities you had? From what you had, you know? And I know it's always sounding like a self-help kind of guru or something, but I just enjoy, you know, showing my my what I think and what I know, you know, it might not be much guys, but, uh, please, I know something really, I do, I promise you, and I try to, you know, display that in a positive way, and try to be positive on my channel, and, you know, give you guys something that might entertain you, entertain you, or, at least keep you occupied for a little bit, you know? Ah. But, uh, it's, it's a great thing. Now, I'm listening. I thought I heard a growl. Surely there wouldn't be any bears up here, right? I know I talk a sex... It, a lot, so but I'm trying to listen in because I am in the woods, guys. And I'm gonna do my best. I don't know what I'm gonna do if I hit a you know, I'm always leery about a bear. I don't know, it's like a reoccurring fear or something. I don't know. That's one. That's one fear that I don't think I want to face, because you know bear, bears can be vicious. But I don't know. I'm pretty good with dogs, so hopefully bears are the same way, and you can be nice to them, talk nice. I don't know. But uh, I don't think there's any in this location. But uh, as I was getting back to you know being positive. Yeah, being positive. Um, you gotta always, you know, 
I know it's hard, but try to be positive. You know, because only you can make yourself feel positive and be positive, you know. Only you can make yourself feel good about yourself. I know other people can tell you that, but in your heart, <clears throat> you know, uh, the only way you're going to feel it is if you believe it, you know. And at this point in my life, I believe it, you know, because, you know, I don't know. I've, I've said it many times, you know, uh, as you get older, you think about mortality and stuff, guys. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, the time slips away and you think about that. And I always say that stuff. And I know it gets it gets kind of teary eyed and stuff sometimes, but uh, I don't take it lightly, guys. And uh, it always affects me, you know. I don't know in a bad way or good way, but I'm aware of it. I'm aware of mortality. I'm aware that time is fleeting, guys. And uh, if you don't do what you want to do in life, what's the point, you know? What is the point to wake up every day and face all the challenges you have to face if you can't enjoy your time that you have now? I know everybody has difficulties and everybody has to go through things. You know, life's not easy and life's not fair sometimes. I know. I know, guys. But I know people tell you to suck it up and stuff, but it's not all about that either. It's about you have to go deep within yourself and find a place that makes you happy in life, okay? It doesn't have to be material things or something you do it could be just your state of being you know being happy and staying positive about your your situation no matter what level or what stage in life you are at you know to be content like if like if i died right now would that be enough you know would my life have meant something? Yeah, guys. And I think about that a lot. Does your life mean something to you? You know? Would you guys die for what you believe in? And if you died right now, were you happy when you died? You know? I'm not going to get any, I'm not going to get morbid or anything like that, guys. I'm not, I'm just trying to point out certain uh, topics I want to hit, you know, and talk about. And I've talked about a lot of stuff in all my videos, and I've got over 300, guys. Yeah, 300. So I'm hitting milestones all, all over the place, and I never thought it would last this long. I thought I'd do two videos, and that would be it, but... I don't know, guys. I just keep on making them. <laughs> I keep on making them no matter what, you know. It makes me happy. It gives me something that I'm proud of because I know I did my best. You know, there's nothing at that situation, that point in time, there's nothing I could have done better that I think of, you know, that I could think of. It's the best I could do, okay? And from my heart, I know I'm happy, you know. And that will always resonate with me, you know. And even when I'm gone, you know, guys will see. My viewers will see if anybody watches the videos, right. They'll see how I was and how I felt about things. You know, I get mad like, like everyone else does and I get stressed out like everyone else does. I lose my temper a lot too in the past a lot more than now but at the end of the day I let it go because I have to you know persevere and go on I can't just quit I can't give up you know I can't say oh it's too hard I'm not going to do it anymore even though sometimes I say I'm not going to do it anymore but 
I persist, you know, and I keep going. And I'm happy. I'm happy that I have that fortitude to keep going, you know. I don't want to be, you know, people to look on me at, like in the past or in the future when I'm gone and in the past, whatever. When I'm when I'm no longer here, guys. I don't want people to look back and say he was a quitter, you know. You know, he lived a sad life, you know. That was wasted life. And I don't want to waste my life. I want to take advantage of my life, you know, as much as I can. And that's what you got to do sometimes. You just got to keep on going, shrug it off, you know. I know. I talk a lot, guys. I'm sorry. That's what I do. I, I know I, I probably can't tell you anything that you guys don't already know, you know. But from my heart, that's my perspective in life. You know, I'm just telling you my perspective. I know you guys know all this stuff, okay? It's just my perspective in life, and that's I'm leaving this all behind. And one day I won't be able to do it anymore. You know, I'll be, I'll be gone, guys. Like vapor, I'll be gone. And I know that. I just don't know when it's gonna be. And uh, okay, <laughs> there's a trail ahead of us, and that's a trail behind us. And I missed that little bench back there. I forgot to tell you guys, uh, but. Uh, yeah, I don't know when it's going to be, you know, but um, I don't want to say I'm ready for it yet, because I feel there's more for me to do in life, but I'm ready, if that's, if, if it's my time to go, I'm ready, you know, all right, guys, <laughs> uh, I'm just going to walk around a little bit more. And walk it off <laughs> oh, before I make a waterfall over here. Yeah, I don't know. I tend to get emotional sometimes, guys. And because uh, it means something for me. It means a lot. What I say means it all comes from my heart. And, uh, you know, it is. It all comes from my heart, guys. It just is. All right. All right, guys, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you so choose. As always, my friends, <laughs> peace out, bro. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'm going to keep on continuing on, on this hike or this little nature walk. <sighs> but as far as this video is concerned and this series, I'm only doing one. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, guys. All right? Till next time. All right. See you then.